What's up YouTube, it's Louis here bringing you today's cryptocurrency video on Fyro. So let's get into this. So there's a lot of fibs on the screen, so I'll remove some, but the main ones we want to look at, let me just hide this for a quick moment, is this. So the top to the bottom, this wick was not on the Binance chart, so ignore that. We're looking at the bodies here. You've come back up to the 618, which is a uh, basically potentially forming some dead cat bounce because you're getting rejected, but we're all fine at the moment as long as you're above the zero and of course i've already given you technical targets to the downside if we lose the zero now it's from the previous fib at the moment so we'll get them back right now but of course if we were to ever break the 618 as long as we're above the zero we should start heading back up to the 618 break above seven dollars and we will head to one minimal eight dollars eighty minimal and then if you can break the one got a twelve dollars eighty eight target so basically as some people may say I'm a moon boy or whatnot, but once we get out of this dip, if this is the bottom currently, then eventually this is your new impulsive wave target once we're out of this dip, basically. So after reaching $12.88, we'll then fall back maybe to the one, maybe to the 786. Mm. And then after that, we will head to these higher up targets at $21, the 2414. So I'm looking at $19 and $20. And of course, maybe here would be a nice take profit to buy back in. For your holder, just keep holding. That's what I personally do, or maybe over here as well, looking to take some profits before getting back in if you are a trader. So now I'm going to get back those other fib levels that we were looking at. So where is that? Over here. And then I'm going to hide this one over here, this other one. So we're just going to look at this, which I've already given you in the previous fire video. That was what, a few days back now, maybe two or three days ago. So I remember, guys, if we were to lose that zero slash this one now, because we measured from the swing low to the swing high where we met the 618, started rejecting it. Of course, we said that we wanted to hold the golden pocket with the 05 over the 0618, and we've lost that now. But we'll get into this in a second. Let's just look at this. So if we were losing the one slash that larger zero, then these down here would be your technical targets, which I've already given you guys. So... In the last fire update, which I gave you this, um, I was having a lot of people in the comments saying, oh, it's dumping now, where's it going? I always look at both ways, so just re-watch the previous video and you might see some information that you missed out the first time. So I already gave you that these technical targets. Basically, when you lose the one and backtest that as resistance, your target is down here, the 1618, $3.72. But you can bounce off the 1.272 or the 1414 without meeting this and get back above the one. You can even just fake out here where you lose the one, get back above it, confirm it as support, and you invalidate further downside. So even losing the one is not the worst, worst, as long as you can get back above it and confirm it as support. So, of course, we wanted to hold that 618, which never came. You now come down a bit lower. So, guys, you did lose this neckline. You've come to the 786, got above and now you're back testing that support. Of course, if we were to lose the 786, we're rolling over to the one minimal where we can form this large double bottom, which we're seeing across many alts, including Bitcoin itself, like this, basically. But if you were to lose the one, we know where we're going to, down to the 1618. And we must hold that support and get back above the one. But I'm not seeing that at all, guys. Remember, I'm not seeing the 1618 or these lower down targets until you lose this. So calling for these targets down here is hopium because it's still above this. And as long as you're still above this, we should eventually head back up as long as you're above the one, as long as you're above $4.78. So, of course, yep. Yeah, we formed a bullish cross, a bearish cross, sorry, bearish cross. But you haven't back tested it as uh, resistance yet, so we still need to see that. Could this be a mini double bottom here, one bottom with a lower low, break the neckline, get back above, or are we going to come up to it and get rejected? This is what we need to see. Whenever you come to the 786 and lose the 618, this, there's a higher chance of creating that reversal wave. But if we can now get back above the 618, you will invalidate that. But if you come up to it, maybe even just the EMAs and get rejected, that's when you create that reversal wave 100% with a minimal target of the one where we can do that double bottom we've been speaking about and obviously head back up for continuation. But if you were to lose the one and fail to create that double bottom, you will head lower to the 1618 as your target. But of course, you can stop off before that and invalidate further downside if you were then to come back above the one and confirm that support because trading is all about invalidations. Stuff, uh, patterns or sorry, targets can be validated, but you can also invalidate them. Just like with this bullish cross, you start heading up and you come down going lower it's respecting as resistance. You haven't done that yet, but you formed the bearish cross, invalidating the bullish cross. So trading is all about this, invalidations. So 
we know what we need to do now. We need to get above the 618, start heading higher. And I've already given you your bullish targets. I've given you your bearish targets as well. So what can we do with this chart now? Let's try and draw a resistance point, try and get as many touches as possible. So potentially looking at this before this ever had happened, you can see this over here, this, this is a nice bullish candle, bullish hammer basically. I would like to see more weight to the downside. So potentially you can't even call it a bullish hammer because you would like a larger wicks than the body and the body is bigger but it's just showing you strength in the 786 this candle isn't it and with that you broke out back tested the outside as support but usually i want to see a larger back test like a, a larger pull away so that's why we probably came down a bit lower back tested that below the 786 and we're getting above the 786 and you held that support with the green candle and we must see that now with that uh, with that red candle we want to see a low here so could be potentially good because you've now broken out of this resistance point and because you're doing that you are sort of technically retracing to the 236 at $6.50 so this is what we want to see now you could even say that we've got some sort of falling wedge so this is acting as some sort of falling wedge can you see here we've come into the apex broke out and we're now just getting that back test basically you can see you back tested it here as support before breaking out and back testing it again over here so and and with that green candle over there as well if you can see so we are outside of it so technically speaking we're in a target up here but just because we're in a target up there doesn't 100 percent mean we're going there it just means that yes we're in a target until we invalidate it so if we were then to come up to the emas and then lose this support over here then of course we're going to roll down further where you could even bounce from the yellow line and start continuing because this over here is your larger falling wedge yes we've met the technical target at the top of the wedge over here but now you're rolling over to find support you're still higher than this low so sp technically speaking you're still printing higher highs and higher lows even if we ignore all these lows you're still higher than this which is your one point and again guys i'm bullish until we lose that one point when you do that's when you roll over more but as long as you're above this we are still creating higher lows and as long as you're creating higher lows you should see higher highs and that's what we keep seeing higher highs so yes nasty retracement but because we went vertical that's why we're coming down nasty now we need to find the bullish patterns or the bearish patterns that are going to either continue us downwards or upwards and as long as we have higher lows for me for me no it's just for me i believe that we are still bullish of course bearish cross is nasty but we need to see that back test hold its resistance create that reversal if we must bounce from here lose that we're continuing down so that's pretty much it for Fire. Of course, I've already gone through with you guys how this in the previous video, how this could potentially be a cup and handle formation. And once you break this neckline over here, let's get you the target, which I gave in the previous video from the lowest point back to the neckline. And then once we break above $6.50 again, wherever, whenever that may happen, no idea when, um, your technical target is $8.20 which I think is lining up with the Fib, yeah, which breaks you above the 786. Hold that as support, the pink trend line, before minimal target one at the $8.82 level. And of course, guys, once we break above the 618, your new impulsive wave target is $12.88. You can see Fire likes to move fast. Of course, it goes down nasty and dips, but let's not forget, Fire always moves up crazy and we've seen that multiple times in the past this is when i first started making my fire videos when we had this crazy pump to the upside i think this is what gave me a lot of followers when i said this is going to come down and i called the level exactly exactly where it was going to come down to and i think that's what gained me a lot of followers so thank you guys for supporting the channel that is it for today i've given you bullish cases given you bearish cases we've fallen out of a broken out to the upside out of a falling wedge is it going to play out are we going to invalidate it because of that bearish cross let's see as long as we're above the one i'm bullish so perfect guys i hope you enjoyed the video please like the video let's get this video to 20 25 likes and i'll catch you guys in the next one and as always peace